So what is it like to live in America in 2022? Well, active shooter training drills have now become a regular thing. We've had them here. The March for Our Lives group released this video a while back, but because nothing's changed, it's gone viral yet again. And it shows active shooter training led by someone very interesting. Take a look. Um, we're gonna bring in a special guest. She's actually an expert on this. This is Kaylee. If the shooter comes in the room, screaming won't do anything. You have to try and fight back. Try to listen for things that could help the police. For example, if you hear a lot of bangs like, bang, 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 the shooter might be down the hall. Or if you hear louder ones like, bang, 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 he could be right outside your door. I mean, this is what the reality is in our country, really? Yeah. Everyone's eyes are watering right now. Erica, what are you thinking? I, my eyes aren't watering, not because I don't feel like this is the saddest thing, um, but I told you, I just had this conversation with my mom like five weeks ago, and I got off the phone thinking, that is the craziest conversation I've ever had with my mother. Mm. She was locked down in a school. An it educator. Was an educator, yes. She's, it was code black. Um, we were on the air. I was trying to figure out, like, and there were all these things where I was like, I put my phone on, on, on focus or whatever. She was the only person who could call or text me. She ended up te uh, calling me during the show. Um, I told her to, like, put her battery, and I was telling her all of these things that I've learned right mm -hmm. the number one thing I said to her was unless she's going to get training on an active shooter situation in school then she can't be in the school because she's a hindrance to other people's survival she literally said that when everything when it went black all the kids stood up they, knew. they were quiet they knew. one kid went over and turned off the lights they all uh, she said it was like a parting of the sea they all started moving their desks to where they were supposed to go and then one of the kids and these are kids brought her over to tell her to sit like to huddle down where he was and she was in between two little boys and the one little boy said to the other that I have a pen if he comes in I'll stab him with the pen and the other little boy grabbed a broom and said I'll trip him with the broom uh -huh. Like, that's I what's know. happening. I want it, because you brought up your, your mom being a teacher. I want to talk about this teacher. And then Tori and Al, please respond. This is a first grade teacher who went viral on TikTok. She's showing off right all the high. stuff she purchased to she keep her class mine. safe, which she keeps yes. in a cubby by the door. So the kit includes a metal bat, this, a bar to block the door. She here. also has a bulletproof and backpack with a bulletproof vest as well as it's tourniquets. Yeah. This so is, the, well, the the, Sam, what are you surprised about? Okay. We have military I'm not surprised, stuff. I'm upset. You know, you should be. I'm glad you are. It shows that you still have your humanity inside of you. But we started handing out military grade weapons to random people on the street. So, yeah, our teachers have to have military grade ways to defend against that and repair themselves like a soldier would on the battlefield. Only in this case, it's a room filled with children's drawings and backpacks and little shoes at the door. This is your, your letter grade for your life, for being an adult, is the generation of kids right behind you. And the kids that we're leaving that are well versed in, 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 in tactical maneuvers in their seventh grade class, they are our letter grade as, as adults. And it's a huge F. I am ashamed of our generation of adults, we've left our kids with nothing, we've saddled them with debt, we've, uh, we, we, we've terrified them with, with, with school violence. Climate change. Climate change. It, we've COVID. done nothing. We've done nothing. We, we, we couldn't even agree on masks. Uh, on behalf of everybody, I'm 44, we failed you. I wouldn't listen to one adult that, that hadn't been vetted if you're a young person. Any adult, any politician, I, I, would, I would look two or three times at. We are all tainted. There is something wrong with our generation. I am embarrassed, and we all should be. And the fact that we like try and discipline them and complain about their behavior on TikTok, I wish we had a 14-year-old as a president. So do I. I wish we had 12-year-olds in, in Congress. They are way more articulate than we are, much more emotionally intelligent than, than a, a lot of my, me and my cohorts. 
I, Look we how are, fast they all came together after Parkland. Exactly. David Hogg, I was just thinking that. that. They organized immediately. Some Mobilized. of them still had blood on their shirts when Absolutely. they were meeting with, with local legislators. We would have, been, we would have been arguing on ALL.com. Mm -hmm. So that's what our generation um, did. Thank you for thank It's you for just that. big facts. We can I just know. see it.